A giant billboard featuring a hypersonic missile covers a building in Tehran with the tagline, 400 seconds to Tel Aviv. This implies that the missile is claimed to travel up to 15 times the speed of sound and indirectly aims to threaten Israel, naturally causing Israel to be apprehensive. Which missile is this? We will answer that later, as it is just one of the many Iranian military weapons feared by the world. One that has attracted attention is a surface-to-air missile that was once introduced to Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu during his visit to Iran. Informally, the West has named this missile 358. It first appeared to the public not through the Iranian military, but when seized by the United States Navy in the Gulf of Aden, along with illegal ammunition that was found. Later, Missile 358 became known as Sakhar 1 by the Houthi forces, who reportedly obtained this missile through illegal shipments. Despite denials by the Iranian government, evidence suggests that Missile 358 or Sakhar 1 was also showcased in Houthi parades in Yemen. Regarding specifications, there is not much information. However, according to reports, this missile is 2.7 meters long, 15 centimeters in diameter, weighs 128 pounds, can reach speeds of up to 2,175 miles per hour, has a maximum flight range exceeding 62 miles, and can carry a warhead weighing 22 pounds. The primary function of the 358 missile is to destroy aerial targets. These targets include drones, helicopters, cruise missiles, and even aircraft. This missile can easily intercept drones traveling at speeds of 497 to 559 miles per hour. Another function is its use as a roaming ammunition against ground targets. What is most special about this missile is its low cost, allowing it to be deployed in large quantities simultaneously to increase the likelihood of success. The Iranian weapon that has already made a name for itself is the Shahed-136 Kamikaze drone. It's considered prominent because it became part of the Russian armed forces in the Ukraine war. Russia purchased thousands of Shahed-136 units, which were then renamed Jiran-2. What's special about this drone that led to its acquisition by Russia? Its ability to evade enemy radar detection due to its design based on stealth aircraft concepts. How does the Shahed-136 work? The drone is launched with the help of a launcher, and then the propeller engine takes over control, flying the drone towards its target. The nose of the drone contains a warhead of about 88 pounds and optical devices. The launched drone then explodes upon impacting its predetermined target, guided by GPS. Although the payload of the warhead is relatively small, this ammunition is designed for long-range ground attacks and is launched in large quantities due to its relatively low cost, ensuring that the attacks still have a significant impact. With a large quantity, some drones might be intercepted by air defense missiles, but others will still get through and hit their targets, making the attack quite effective. Another advantage of the Shahid-136 is its speed, being able to travel up to 93 miles per hour with a range of 1,553 miles. It's even said to be faster than the Turkish Bayraktar TB2 drone. The advancement of Iran's defense industry, especially in drone development, is rapid, despite sanctions from the United States and Western countries. One such successful development is the Shahed-149. This drone is named Gaza in honor of the Palestinian people's struggle against Israel. It measures 10.5 meters in length, 3.2 meters in height, and has a wingspan of 21 meters. Its design is similar to the Shahed-129 with some enhancements. The advantage of the Gaza drone is its capability to carry 13 bombs with an operational radius of 1,243 miles, a flight altitude of 35,000 feet, and a speed of 217 miles per hour. What differentiates the Shahed-149 Gaza from the Shahed-135? The difference is that the Gaza drone is not a kamikaze drone. It is used for reconnaissance and attacks, in reconnaissance and electronic warfare missions, the Gaza drone can scan and identify targets within a 311 miles radius for up to 35 hours of flight time. The hypersonic missile featured on the billboard in Tehran is the Fatah hypersonic missile. 
This is Iran's first developed medium-range hypersonic ballistic missile, created by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps and launched in 2023. So far, only four countries, including the United States and Russia, have claimed to possess hypersonic missile technology. Meanwhile, Iran, still under the shadow of Western sanctions, chose to develop the Fatah hypersonic ballistic missile capable of maneuvering in and out of the atmosphere. Fatah's role is to enhance Iran's deterrence capabilities, increase security, and promote peace in the surrounding region. Fatah is described by many media outlets as a precision-guided hypersonic ballistic missile capable of penetrating all types of defense shields, including the most advanced anti-ballistic missile systems of the United States and Israel, such as Israel's Iron Dome. This is because Fatah can reach speeds equivalent to or even five times faster than the speed of sound, making it extremely difficult to intercept. The missile can also evade radar systems and target anti-ballistic missile systems to clear the way for other ballistic missiles. Fatah can strike targets at speeds of Mach 13 to Mach 15, equivalent to 9,320 miles per hour. It has a range of 870 miles, and plans are underway to increase this to over 2,000 kilometers to reach Israel. With Fatah's capabilities, it's reasonable to claim that this missile can attack Tel Aviv, the capital of Israel. Before the introduction of the Fatah missile, around mid-2023, Iran had already tested a medium-range ballistic missile. This missile is named Koromshar-4, an upgraded version of the Koromshar series, also known as the Kaibar missile. The name Karamshar is derived from a city in Iran that was the site of fierce battles during the Iran-Iraq War in the 1980s. This series is described as Iran's most powerful missile system, capable of carrying an 18-ton warhead, resulting in a devastating explosion. Additionally, the Koromshar 4 version can store fuel for longer periods, making it easier for Iran to deploy this missile during sudden escalations. Design-wise, this missile is akin to North Korea's Hwasong-10 medium-range ballistic missile, but in an Iranian version. It measures 13 meters in length with a diameter of 1.5 meters and a launch weight of about 20 tons. Its ability to destroy targets has a margin of error of only 30 meters even from a distance of 1,243 miles. In terms of speed, Koromshar 4 can travel at Mach 16 or reach 12,427 miles per hour. With its high speed and accuracy, enemy defense systems struggle to detect, track, or effectively intercept the missile. Initially, this missile had a range exceeding 2,000 meters, but its range was limited by fitting heavier warheads. The goal is to enable the missile to carry nuclear warheads in the future. However, Iran has developed a missile with specifications as an anti-ship ballistic missile often referred to as an aircraft carrier killer, which of course poses a most deadly and concerning threat. This missile, Khalij e Fars, is even claimed to be the most advanced and significant missile of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Navy. What are the specifications of the Khalij e Fars missile? In terms of range, Khalij e Fars has a reach of up to 186 miles, with a speed of 3,044 miles per hour. This missile is equipped with an explosive warhead weighing 1,433 pounds. Khalij e Fars has been tested twice. In its second test, the missile accurately destroyed a moving ship with a precision of 30 meters. Although these results are already considered a significant success, the Iranian government still demands that the precision be improved to less than 10, 15 meters. Less than six months after the second test, experts continued their mission to enhance the missile's precision. And as a result, the precision of the missile was improved to less than 8.5 meters in tests. Another advanced missile feared by many countries, especially those operating F-35 or other stealth fighter jets, is the Bavar 373. This is a surface-to-air missile system that competes with Russia's S-300 or even the S-400. The Bavar 373 was developed because of Russia's ban on exporting the S-300 to Iran, leading Iran to decide to develop a similar missile domestically. What are its specifications? The Bavar 373 system can detect up to 100 targets, track 60 targets, and attack 6 targets simultaneously, even at altitudes of 98,425 feet. 
A standout feature of this missile is its stealth capability, allowing Bavar 373 to detect hidden targets, even those flying at very low altitudes. Hence, even an F-35 would find it difficult to evade this missile. The missile can detect targets up to a distance of 199 miles and can pursue targets up to 124 miles away. The launcher of the Bavar 373 system, which contains the missiles, is carried by the Zoljana Heavy Vehicle, a 10-wheeled truck capable of carrying up to 30 tons.